What's up, everybody? It's Adam Winnig here, and we are the first day of July, and we've got crazy stuff, as usual, happening in the cryptocurrency market. We've got uh, Tom Brady partnering with FTX. We've got Elon Musk trying to pump Doge, but kind of unsuccessfully. We've got news from George Soros, who was apparently going to be trading Bitcoin. 650 U.S. banks to offer Bitcoin to over 24 million U.S clients a whole lot more in today's episode what's up guys adam winnick here and if you like cryptocurrencies then go ahead and like subscribe turn on the post notifications it's really only going to help get awareness out there it's only going to help cryptocurrency prices as well so i appreciate it if you would do that now let's go ahead and let's talk a little bit about what's happening with price we'll take a look at the charts and then uh we got some interesting news to cover today as well uh today we're looking pretty flat across the board if we look at the top 10 cryptos it looks like most top 10 cryptos are actually up bitcoin's down two percent but it looks like most top 10 cryptos are like maybe up one or two percent for the most part kind of just a flat day and if we go and look at the charts we can see here that the total market cap is down about four percent for the day Uh, we see that we're kind of just still in this kind of ranging consolidating hopefully accumulation phase Uh, bitcoin same thing we see bitcoin is down according to trading view about four percent as well on the 24-hour candle or on the daily candle here and we see ethereum same thing we had a nice spike up now we're kind of coming on downwards here uh, we're just kind of watching what price is going to do nothing crazy crazy excitement we did have a uh, push up from this dip where a lot of people i think got stopped out of their positions here um, and now we're pushing up higher so nothing crazy crazy happening with price action but we did end the month and let's take a look at this because uh, you know it wasn't a great month for cryptocurrencies in general but if we take a look at bitcoin's performance month by month from 2018 to 2021 you can see how the asset has performed and you know this 35 percent dip that we had in may uh, it's not anything out of the out of the normal Normal. actually in June we're actually only down six percent which we can see that we've had so many months like this uh, but if you take a look and you just zoom out right we take a look at uh, Bitcoin for example and we just zoom out we can see I mean look at what happens with the thing it's just like a lot of people kind of get freaked out and especially if we look at it on a log chart you can kind of see everything here maybe on the weekly uh, everyone gets freaked out when there's just like you know price action in the short term but when you actually look at what's happening here I mean it's just a thing of beauty there's been no asset that's outperformed Bitcoin in the past 10 years. So you kind of just got to zoom out to not freak out so much. So with that being said, uh, let's take a look at some of the news that's happening. There's some awesome stuff that's happening. This actually came out um, from Rao Paul, who is a very famous macro investor that basically said that Bitcoin and crypto assets are to trigger the largest redistribution of wealth in history. And uh, obviously he's a major crypto uh, new, uh, bull, but he's basically saying there's really no cap right now on what the top of what the market cap could look like for uh, cryptocurrencies. I know I've heard a lot of people talk about $100 trillion market cap. And just to put that into perspective, guys, right, right now we're like in like the 1.3 trillion so we've got like 100x from there but you know it could be even a lot higher than that you know if we talk about crypto eating up the derivatives markets which is a quadrillion dollar market so if you could just imagine that that's a thousand trillions okay another huge piece of news came out yesterday um, 650 U.S. banks and credit unions ready to offer Bitcoin purchases. Uh, there was a major partnership with uh, uh, New York Digital Investment Group and National Cash Register, two like really old big time companies that are essentially going to be opening up cryptocurrencies and uh, Bitcoin uh, custodial uh, rights to 24 million different clients. Um, which is another just huge, huge uh, deal here. Uh, By the way, we also wrote this free report to find viral altcoins. So if you're interested in finding viral altcoins before the rest of the internet does, because if you heard about it on Twitter or Facebook, I'm sorry, but you're too late to the party and it's just likely going to dump on you. Wrote this free report. You can get it at blueedgecrypto.com slash viral, blueedgecrypto.com slash viral. So you can see how we find viral altcoins and the method that we show you guys is so simple yet so, so effective. Uh, Continuing on here, Bitcoin exchange supply ratio dropped significantly. Bitcoin whale accounts are moving their assets from exchanges to digital wallets. Again, this is an on-chain metric that's really closely followed. Anytime people are moving their assets from an exchange 
to a, a, a digital wallet, this is usually signs that they're planning on holding it for a while and they don't plan on selling it. If you see money going from a digital wallet to an exchange, likely they're gonna sell the asset. So this is actually really quite bullish news uh, for Bitcoin as well. We also heard from uh, George Soros that his investment fund is reportedly trading Bitcoin. Um, in addition to trading crypto, Soros Fund Management is said to be in discussion to acquire blockchain focused firms, which is really interesting. So uh, George Soros is a mega, mega rich billionaire. If you're unfamiliar with him, uh, he's probably uh, most fam um, most famous for uh, basically uh, causing um, uh, a, a major currency, uh, the Great British Pound, to crash quite a bit. Uh, where he took a massive short position back. Uh, this was, you know, I don't know, over a decade ago or so. And uh, he made like a billion dollars or something on a single trade. Crazy. Uh, basically, George Soros has given this team the green light to trade Bitcoin. This could be a positive or negative depending on how they trade it. And that's so true. It is bullish news considering, uh, you know, one of the biggest investors in the world is getting into crypto like all the biggest investors in the world are. Um but we don't know what like what he's actually going to do. He has a mega amount of money and obviously he could do anything, but it is promising seeing that he's um, in discussion to acquire blockchain focused firms. So maybe he really does believe in the future of this technology. We also have Tom Brady and his wife Giselle to become part owners of FTX, which is a major uh, crypto exchange. I can't remember it. Maybe it's like the third biggest crypto exchange or something like that. Uh, but Tom Brady, I'm, I'm a huge Tom Brady fan. So I just had to throw that in there. I love him and his wife, Giselle. Uh, she's one of the most famous um, Sports Illustrated models and one of the most famous models of all time. And uh, basically they've uh, become ambassadors for this crypto exchange, FTX. And FTX is just making a lot of huge moves in the uh, sports world. Um, they uh, they uh, entered a sponsorship deal with the Major League Baseball. Uh, that will put FTX advertising patches on all umpire uniforms starting next month. Uh, they also enlisted a far uh, younger NFL quarterback, uh, Trevor Lawrence, who I believe, yeah, he was the number one draft pick in 2021 from Clemson. So he's likely going to be a massive star. And um, and uh, in April, in a deal that say that saw the former Clemson player take his pay in crypto, which is, which is awesome. I mean, like all this stuff is just happening. If you're just... If you're short crypto, then you're just like insane at this point. Like, I don't know, like, I, yeah, you're probably not short if you're watching this uh, video anyways. <laughs> so with that being said, um, SoftBank invests $200 million into Brazil's largest crypto exchange uh, into uh, Mercado Bitcoin. They raised $200 million, um, which is really awesome. This is a uh, uh, SoftBank's, the largest uh, capital injection in Latin American crypto company. Uh, they're like a $2 billion bank. Uh, so this is just awesome to see that, you know, especially in Latin America, we see even more, uh, you know, um, innovation and more money flowing into these uh, firms, uh, like crypto related firms. And we saw something interesting. Elon Musk attempt to pump Dogecoin fails miserably. And I love seeing this because the, the market would go so haywire whenever Elon Musk would tweet anything. Uh, but recently he tweeted this. Uh, I believe this was, yeah, this was this morning. He said, release the Doge. And he had this kind of, I'll give it to him. It's kind of funny um, uh, meme here, uh, meme picture here from the Godfather. Basically, he's, you know, claiming that he's right? The godfather of Doge, which I guess you could say he is, but it says you come to me at runtime, tell me the code you are executing does not compile, right? And it was an attempt to, I think, dump it. Um, uh, but basically nothing really happened. Uh, it basically surged from 24 cents to 26 cents. And, and then, uh, and then the, basically the coin, you know, fell back down. So uh, you can see here how his uh, influence is kind of waning, right? This is his first uh, tweet that came out about Doge and look what happened. Boom, skyrocketed. Second one, less effect. Third one, I mean, almost no effect on the price of Doge. So I think people are, a little, you know, hopefully getting a little bit smarter. I would hope so. Um, but, you know, I, I can't really say that, you know, I know, unfortunately, the average uh, person ain't that intelligent, especially you see this all across the space with people just piling money into uh, crap coins like all the time. It's just, uh, it's kind of sad. But anyways, hopefully you watch this show and hopefully you become more educated and you don't do that sort of dumb stuff. Uh, we're also going to be putting out new videos uh, regarding uh, more trading specific stuff. We're going to be putting out some more guides uh, along with the new show as well, but we won't be doing the new show likely every single day, only when there's important news and we'll try
try to fill those other days with important guides and other stuff that I think is important to educate everybody about cryptocurrencies. So that being said, if this was helpful and you'd like to stay up to date with everything cryptocurrencies, you'd also like to help spread awareness and hopefully rise the price of cryptocurrencies. Just like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. It's really easy. It takes two seconds and um, I'd really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much.